Hey guys, welcome back to a, another hair video. So today I'll be inside some fox locks. Um, I feel like that's all I post over here, you know, be inside my fox locks. But for this one, I'm doing it kind of like large size. My partings are large. I don't have much time to do them any smaller. I'm on a crunch today. These are the locks that I'll be using today. These are the dread locks, straight. And this is what it looks like in the packaging. It comes with like three bundles. And I'm really liking the texture. I was thinking to use another one from Amazon, but I wasn't really feeling the texture of that hair. This is 18 inches long, so all three bundles in here are 18 inches long, and it's in the color number one. Right now, I have 40, about 42 braids in my hair. I'm gonna do the last two sections with you guys, so that you guys can see how I do. I mean, I just do like a braid in the beginning. Why this not on? <laughs> I just did like a braid in the beginning and then I twisted the ends. So this is the hair out of the, the package. It's feeling really soft and nice. It smells like dolly. <laughs> you know when you're a kid and you just got like a new doll. That's how it smells. So yeah. I wonder if I can oh you guys can see that texture close up. I'm gonna see how much comes on one of this. So in each bundle you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, level twelve. So in each bundle you get twelve blocks. Mm -hmm. This should be enough. I wonder if it's just one pot no, three twelves. Three twelves are thirty-six. Mm -hmm. Alright, so to crisp up my partings, I'm going in with this edge box. It is the bad god. I call it the Ozean. <laughs> Ozean Ultra hair wax. Back inside. I use a white tooth comb to detangle my hair and this rat tail comb to part my hair out and further detangle. So I'm just gonna pull this part out. I'll be looking in my camera for guidance because I do not have a mirror nearby me. I ensure to like do my braiding off camera because of this <laughs> sorry if you guys are hearing any background noise this boss is over there next to me playing video game this video is gonna be more like down to earth more vlog style instead of uh you know being too restrictive for us find my hair across and i'm trying to line it up with this one right here I'm gonna take my edge wax. I'm going to base my hair to smooth that in. Just come down to like further detail. The front of my hair has grown so much. Alright, so I started like doing my parting and like pre-sectioning my hair out last night well this morning around 12 this morning and i finished that majority of it and left the section just at the front section and that took me about two and a half hours because it was like two or three that i went to bed when i got like really tired and decided to stop <laughs> So yeah, it took me like two and a half hours to part and braid these on my own. So I just braided my hair to a little section off and then now I'm twisting down the rest.
Move up my last braid. I'm gonna detangle with my white tooth comb. Right, the end of my hair is just unstangling. Tie the edge wax so that my parts can look neat and crisp. And my white tooth comb to smooth my hair. And then I'm going to start braiding. I'm not braiding too close to my scalp. I'm trying to go like right here. I'm just going to start twisting. So this is what I'm working with. I'm just gonna show you guys like my braiding pattern. Right, so this is my braiding pattern right now. It's not too small, not too too big. This is the front. The back, the back part I kind of did bigger at the front. I showed you guys the locks before, and I'll be using the springy Afro Twist Expressions. Altair expression and it is the springy afro twist this came with three bundles this should be enough to wrap my hair because i don't have a lot of locks on my hair and also i will be splitting each part into two what it looks like out of the packaging it's really wavy it feels very nice it's similar to my natural hair's texture so this is why it looks it's looking like so it does come like pre looped. Alright, so I'm just going to show you guys that in the front. I'm going to take one of the dreadlock. This loop is big. Okay. I'm going to just push this. I'm going to attach this to my hair. Take my crochet tool. I'm just like pushing this in randomly. I'm gonna attach that to the hook, close the latch, pull my hair through, and then I have. Let's bring it after twist. I pull like three quarters down. And I'm gonna wrap my hair. I wrap towards the towards my face whenever I'm wrapping on the right side of my hair. So I wrapped up here three times and now I'm gonna start working my way down. With this method there are no lumps <laughs> or bumps like wherever the crochet here has like started it's just like very seamless okay, so now that i've passed where the crochet here has started with a lock i started i'm gonna start twisting down freely leaving a gap between the hair between the wrapping here and the lock I'm gonna fold and go back up. Wrap this little string around and then go back down again until I have nothing to wrap. So I'm doing locks. This is the final result. I kind of want this like I call this like a distressed look towards the end. So that's why I wrap with like gaps. So that's how I'm, we're looking so far. Alright guys, so I am at the top of my head. 
Ik zie dat wel wat afval. Dat is de lift van One Pack. Ik heb zes zwarte lift van One Pack. En ik heb gewoon een paar cut on here to attach the locks to the point my hair larger than usual and my hair is thin so I don't want it to look too weird so I just put my lock on to my braid right here I'm gonna push this under the braid put the end of my twist onto the hook close that put it through that way the lock is secured on my braid this little bit right there, I'm gonna start wrapping at the roots, holding it real close. I'm gonna like twist this around the root part three times. Three, and then I'm gonna start wrapping going downwards. Kind of not doing it too tight, but I'm not doing it. I'm not wrapping too tight, but I'm not wrapping it too loose either because I don't want it to slip. When I go like this, it's not shifting around. I'm just going to wrap until I reach where the lock is attached to my natural hair. And then I'll start wrapping. Not so close. Finish. Hey Google, what time is it? It's 12.07 p.m. We are now say so I started like roughly by here. Minutes to 10. And it's now 12.07 p.m. I think I'm doing an okay timing with the wrapping. I like when it has this like distressed look and like it's not being too uniform. And I specifically chose the spring afro twist here because it's longer than the african coat that i usually use so i can just wrap it all the way down so that the lock can look like have that distressed look going throughout the lock once i reach the edge i'll just twist it up for a little bit and then i just go back down and wrap 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 until there's nothing to wrap roll it in my palms and this is how it's looking okay. like very textured okay yeah. guys so i'm done installing the locks and this is how they're looking i'm just gonna go ahead and put some loose And now I'm just going to use the same edge wax I used to like part my hair out. I'm going to use this to do my edges. To finish off, I'm going with this olive oil, forest oil sheen. Final look, guys. The finished results for my box locks. They are looking really nice. I used up all of this, so one whole pack with my hair. I had, I have about forty three locks on my hair right now, and this. I used up everything. So for the locks, I have two bundles left in the second pack, as well as one, two, three, and four single locks. So, yeah, I did not use a lot of. Usually, I would use two and a half packs to do my whole head, but I really was not up to doing too much. I mean, it still looks okay. It still looks full, cool, but the back is looking good.
Alright, so that's how I install my Fox Sauce. If you guys enjoyed this type of video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next hair video. Bye, everyone. You are a farmer and a dirt